If you go back to uh, COVID, such a great opportunity, right? Such mm-hmm. a great opportunity. Never let that go to waste. You know, everybody's locked down. Lockdown meaning they're in front of screens 24 hours a day. What a great opportunity to test, manipulate, to push, to identify segments of people that are going to be against you and identify segments of people that are going to be for, for you. Sure. So this is so when you're talking about, you know, these different things about zeroing people out and being able to, to manipulate their minds. We didn't need to zero. They didn't need to zero anybody out. They just had to make sure they were in front of their screens 24 mm-hmm. hours a day for weeks and weeks and months on end. That is enough. Not only is it enough to be able to start manipulating these people, but again, when you're talking about AI-driven psychological programming, which is a term and phrase that most people have never heard, General Flynn and I wrote a book about it, Session 2 of the Citizen's Guide to Fifth Generation Warfare, How to Fight Artificial Intelligence. It's not about robots. It's about AI-driven psychological programming. Yes, I will agree with you. Probably our own agencies have a lot to do with this. But also, it's the foreign countries that have a lot to do with this, that are launching these systems within the United States to create more and more types of disruptions, to create uh, the, the ability to control a populace, to be able to, to pull people away from their own sense of security with their own government, to foment dissension. And this is happening on multiple levels, and it's happening individually. I encourage everybody to, to not just read session two, How to Fight Artificial Intelligence, but also to watch a video out there a very very good video it's called the ai dilemma and ai dilemma goes into the different types of ais that are being deployed and the capabilities of each now it's not talking about the the foreign strategies used by these capabilities but again everything is weaponized until something better can be weaponized so other than watching your now other other than watching your video uh what the the quick answer really is i seem you, you i am assuming you're alluding to is to give up the computer that I have in my hand, you know, hours a day. Yeah, and but you won't do it. So we don't know that. I could have been, my, <laughs> I could have been MK Ultra. I could do that. You, you, don't know you that. could. You could have. I'm not you smart. I'm not one it. of the smart ones, though. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. They're no, not going to come there, after there's me. A, no, there's a system. It has to be on different. La- there's different layers of it. And okay. General Fun and I, we, we wrote the legislation that needs to take place in order to assist mm-hmm. us. That's at the, at the national level. But also your state. Your state has to do something, too. And so, and so does you and you, you and your family. What do they have house. to do, Boone? What, what, what do we have to do? Well, on the national level, we really need to have some legislation that does a couple things. One, it blocks the foreign AI systems from being launched in the United States against our country because mm-hmm. these are the nuclear weapons of our time. For you don't sure. have to destroy a company, a country to take it over. You just have to change the will of the people mm-hmm. to control a government that is also being controlled to be able to take <laughs> that over. And it's a lot cheaper. I mean, it's a lot cheaper to build an AI system and launch in the United States than it is to build a nuclear warhead. And I would, I would venture to say, and I think General Flynn wrote a paper on it earlier this year, talking about how dangerous AI-driven psychological programming is. Uh, compared to nuclear weapons. This is how serious it is. So that that's mm. that's one aspect of it, the national level. At the state level, we really need to become, we need to have a coalition of states to get away from the federal government, decentralize things, make, make each state self-sufficient independently with food, water, and energy. These things have to happen right away because AI can control so many different things around the world. Right. That if your state is not taking care of you, you're going to have bigger, bigger problems. So we need to have a coalition of states that's willing to stand up and say, hey, we're going to be independent, not just of the federal government, but also other things that may control the people within this state. At the last level is within your home. Yes. What is happening Mm -hmm. within your home? What are you doing? So this is very, very tiered out. And people have to understand each one of these levels. Because it's much yeah. like a, a samurai with the with the suit of armor, you know. It's in layers, and depending on the battle you're going to go in, you, you're going to have to make sure that that particular layer is in place. And this this is where we're at. Um, because again, the talent pool in the past, when you talk about all this stuff from MK Ultra in the past, the talent pool was always in these population centers where they could really focus and, and channel people. Yeah. They don't need that anymore. Everybody's channeled on these machines. And so every, think about this machine. This machine that I'm sitting in front of right now, the one that you're sitting in front of, the one that people are watching, it is your preach, your priest, it is your prostitute, it is your counselor, it is your financial advisor, it's your best friend. It's literally, it's your dear Abby for yeah. every single thing you would never tell anybody else on the planet. 
Yep. You put it out on these machines. It is curated into data sets, and these data sets are used to train artificial intelligence specifically for AI-driven psychological programming. I am mostly concerned about that which is foreign-born yeah. because we understand, uh, we understand the pecking order. <laughs> and if I'm going to target somebody on, hey, who do we need to take care of first? It's not going to be my own country. It's going to be forcing my own country to put up the, the parameters and the defenses to protect our government, to protect our people from the foreign-born AI-driven psychological programming. I would imagine, then, you are in favor of banning TikTok? I, well, let's talk about TikTok. What is TikTok and how do they work? I think people will find this interesting. The way they work is the same way the same way we, we would conduct, you know, PSYOP in different places. We would identify a key communicator. In their, in their area for TikTok... They identify someone who's young, who's good looking, and who's susceptible to Marxism. Once they have those three mm -hmm. things, or Maoism, depending on what split you want to look at, yeah. once they have those three things, again, they're young, they have a talent people will watch, right. and they're susceptible. Yeah. As soon as they have those things, they flood an audience to these people. That's why you see these young kids who can play the gazoo or some sort of do some <laughs> sort of already quirky considered dance. an influencer. Mm -hmm. yes. they're, they're, yeah, they're the next yes. Pavarotti, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they really don't have any exorbitant talent, but they have the ability to draw an audience that is pushed to them. So they get pushed this audience, and then every now and then they just drop in their feed this, this messaging that they want people to push out. You see something that happens in the United States, well, some sort of tragedy that wants to be spun a certain way. Well, they make sure that they put that spin in front of the influencer, and the influencer tells all their followers. Now, this is a this is kind of tiered out, too, because what happens as soon as you want to shut down TikTok? And now you've got all these people with all these minions saying, no, this is our freedom of speech. This is yep. something that we deserve. And we're so they creating jobs. It. Yeah, because all that audience that gets pushed to them gets monetized. So you got an influencer that's getting paid by the people that are watching yep. it. Meanwhile, the entire situation is controlled by a foreign government.